make these people accountable. Because I, these people have millions of dollars that they can afford these things. We are working hard every day to supply, to supply our family with the mail and their necessities. And I buy a television where I, I, I am a work hard for them for five years, and then one day they blow it up, and the government says to me, prove it. It's not fair. And I think we need to look into something like this, because the Port Authority does it on an everyday basis, and the people of Muhammad Rock, they're doing it, and the government is saying the same thing as again, prove it. That's why we have the government there. We want them to take the initiative and protect the people. That's what they're, they're there for, to protect the people. And the laws need to reflect this. We cannot have them tell us, free power is the time and thing, and they know they're doing it, but because they don't want to say, okay, we'll prepare it, we'll, we'll repair it, because everybody then will come in for, 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 for stuff to be repaired. But the government needs to set up something, and I'm saying this because I wanted to say this a long time, and this may not be the, to you directly, but we're dealing with Bahama Rock in the sense here, and we need them to, to regulate them, because we cannot be here sitting now and having people who are making billions of dollars of our land telling us, don't worry about it, we ain't gonna hurt it. That's rubbish. So we need you all to do what we put you all in for. Protect us and in our clause or something to make these people accountable. My TV may not be much to them, but it's a lot to my kids. You understand? We need to, the, the government to stop saying that. Generally, when you come to a public meeting like this, if you don't come, fully prepared and fully armed. Tempers get in the way. My temper is beginning to get in my way. <laughs> and with your permission, before I say something, I will not be able to retract. It's better I stop now. I didn't read Marcus or Bethel's report because I don't know if it exists. See, but I'm responsible for it tonight. Okay. The one I am responsible for was done last October. I wasn't seeking to offend this gentleman by saying, if somebody is programmed to lie and cheat, there's very little I could do to fix that predicament. That's the only point I was seeking to make. If you are convinced that Bahama Rock has been lying to you, and doing things that they shouldn't do by virtue of their blasting, their environmental oversight. And that is the corporate policy that they have been pursuing. The only point I was seeking to make is it's pointless trying to use regulations to catch that crook. In response to a question about proof, I'm told I'm elected, therefore it's my job. My TV was burnt out two weeks after I put it there, my $700. I am trying to get money from BEC. In order for me to get money from BEC, and I'm the minister responsible for BEC, I had to give them the date, the time, so they could verify that they had a surge at that time. They give me back the $300 that I paid for it. That's the process I have to go through, because BEC is duty bound to find out whether you hired a shorty electrician used the wrong wire and had the wrong connectors when the TV burner to determine whether they should give this person's money for your TV. It is your TV. You did work for it, but that's the process we go through. I have committed essentially to three things tonight. I committed that the EIA that was done will be reviewed and posted, and you will have full sight of it. I committed to coming back, or my staff coming back, to meet with you before any permits are issued for Area 4, and I committed to responding to your concerns about increased monitoring and evaluation so that the current blasting, you can get better insight on it. Those are the things I committed to, those are the things I am able to do, and those are the things that I will do. With respect to the rest of the concerns you raised, Ms. Simonette took note of them. You recorded them. You're going to have your own interpretation about what I said here tonight. 
no matter what the record says. And when I come back here, based on the results, you will have your own interpretation about how I did. It has really been a pleasure. I am surprised that so many of you came tonight. I think your member of parliament did a tremendous job in getting you here. I, I believe you are very serious about these matters. And your concern is noted. And at the risk of seeming offensive, I could drop down dead in the parking lot walking out here and somebody else would be responsible tomorrow. So it's not Earl that you're speaking to. And people hear me please, okay? This is my second time and second constituency and fourth ministry. The job is not all you all make it out to be. It's not as much as you make it out to be if we don't work at it together. When I, when I, can I have one word, please? I, you know, feeling the sense and energy, uh, Minister. Um, I mean, I, I know you're a calm person. I know you from way back. And you're very stable. Equilibrium is there. But picking up the energy from the people here tonight, I don't feel that they're personally attacking you no, no, anything. I and, and I think that you're taking us very seriously because you know it's a serious matter. I think the frustration comes from the fact that this is a historic thing and we expect for you in terms of your uh, deliberate determination about certain things to help to get the things done. So I, I feel, you know, I, I pick up energy very easily and I don't feel any hostility towards you at all. So I got to say that before you leave tonight. People. Grand Bahama, if we have some things that we may like to suggest, can we bring it to our members of Parliament's office and they may be to forward it on? Mm -hmm. I have a better idea for you. Okay. See that gentleman? Mr. Williams. That property owner? Yeah. That concerned citizen? Yeah. It's very knowledgeable, former employee of the EPA. And this one with the video camera. Y'all can get together and put some ideas down. You can send them. Uh, you can save us the trouble of bringing a draft to you to look at. You can start structuring the draft. Get the EPA draft. Uh, I'm not giving you work, but legislation is done in response to community's felt needs. But it's our, it's our job as citizens too, you know. We, yes, we may have a but we also um, need to contribute as well. It's a two-way street. It's not just a one-way street. And Joe, for the record, I wasn't going to walk out. I was... I was afraid, you know. I, 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 it's time to go. I wouldn't, want to leave I, wouldn't, I wouldn't walk out until when it brings the meeting to a close, but I was going to take my seat <laughs> and zip up. Um, I'm, I'm sure that most of you that had uh, pressing questions would have asked those questions. And if you do have more questions, Please feel free to pass those questions on to me if you find me. Um, Mr. DeVoe is quite access accessible with the Ministry of Environmental uh, in here in Grand Baham. I believe you can contact their office to relay any concerns and messages to, Mr. to uh, Minister uh, DeVoe. Um, if there aren't any other pressing questions that you feel like you have to ask him before we go, we'd like to close now. Is there any other questions before he goes? No? Okay. Um, at this time, I just wanted to say thanks so much to all of you for coming. Um, it has really been a blessing to have you, uh, Minister Earl DeVoe. We've been asking for someone for a long time. I believe um, Mr. Williams will attest to that. We've been asking for a long time. And finally, you hear some people that were really carrying on aren't here. And that's usually the case. <clears throat> Bahama Rock, I don't know if there's a representative from Bahama Rock here. Is there anyone? No. I insisted that they be here since they're the they're ones. Not. Don't you be so naive as to believe they're not here. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> we know each other. Though. Officially, they're not here. We, we know each other. I, I'm sure we know if anyone from the yeah. government, from their, their thing is here. Yeah. In any event, um, we just wanted to let Bahama Rock know that we we appreciate them not being here, but we wanted them to be here so that they can hear 